unlike what your book does, I'm actually going to talk about autoregulation first, um, that local control, and then we'll go into how the nervous system kind of can, can add on top of that to regulate immune arterial blood pressure. So the key thing about autoregulation is that it's about local perfusion, um, opposed to maintaining mean arterial blood pressure. So um, myogenic response, this is a type of autoregulation. So autoregulation, this is dealing with local tissue perfusion. Perfusion meaning the fluids getting to a tissue, fluid blood, how well the tissue is getting blood. Um, so if a reminder first, arterioles are the main um, blood vessels that can respond dramatically in terms of contract, contraction, um, that they constricts or relaxation. So this tunic media is made of smooth muscle and the smooth muscle can contract to cause constriction of the blood vessel. So this is a review from what we talked about last week, basics of arterioles. Um, we might have normal, a thick tunic media here. We could have vasoconstriction, which is causing that lumen to be smaller, therefore reducing blood flow. Or we could have vasodilation. The smooth muscle will dilate, relax, vasodilation. This is going to increase blood flow. And this mechanism is important for all types of autoregulation, as well as some nervous system regulation of resistance, right? Resistance is, um, this decreased flow is because of increased resistance. This inc increased flow is because of decreased resistance. But now I wanna tell you what this myogenic response is. We're gonna see this again in the kidneys. Um, so with myogenic, what we're having is a reaction to the stretch of the smooth muscle. So I'm gonna choose a different color here. We have increased flow. We're going to have increased stretch. Um, and this is going to cause the blood vessels to constrict. This vasoconstriction is reducing blood flow. So negative feedback, look at that. It's a kind of protection mechanism to respond to this increase in flow. If you have decreased flow, so low flow coming through an area for whatever reason, this is going to have reduced stretch. This is gonna cause the blood vessels to dilate, allowing for that flow to freely um, occur. Um, so this is a way of locally responding to blood flow um, with just vasoconstriction or vasodilation based on stretch. Myogenic, myo's muscle, um, just generated by the muscle itself. We will look next at chemicals that it can, local, local chemicals, paracrines that can affect autoregulation as well. 